There are several ways to create an allocation. Now, the most basic one is a fixed allocation for a specific GL account. So let's have a look and I will search for allocation. And I will choose allocation accounts. Let's create a new one. And in this example, I would like to create an allocation for building expenses. So I will enter a number and a name. And then um, we need to select the account type. So there are two options, fixed and variable. Fixed means that the share and the percentage that you enter uh, are fixed as long as you don't update them. So with variable, you can have the share and the percentage calculated based on statistical accounts or general accounts. Uh, but in this first example, let's create a fixed allocation. All right. So now the idea is to create a uh, specific account distribution lines. So and there are three options, as you can see. So you can select GL account, bank account or inherit from parent. So the first two options are quite basic. So this means that you can enter different GL accounts or bank accounts here on the lines and assign a percentage. So this means that my building expenses could be allocated to several GL accounts or even bank accounts. Although in um, many cases in real life, you will create allocations for dimensions, which means that you will use the same GL account, but with different dimensions, which is also something that I will do in this example. Uh, also notice that there's uh, the option inherit from parent. Now that's also very interesting because uh, that will allow you to create more general allocations. Uh, so for multiple expense accounts, for example, but that's something I will demonstrate in one of the next examples. So in this case, I will uh, select GL account and I will enter the dest destination account number. So let's search for the account. So in this case, I will search for maintenance accounts for buildings or properties. So if you search for properties, uh, you will find repairs and maintenance for properties. So the account 60,260. So there we go. All right. So like I just uh, explained, um, we can now assign a share and based on the share, the percentage is calculated automatically. Now you can enter different GL accounts on each lines, but like I just mentioned, quite often an allocation is based on dimensions. So and in this example, I would like to allocate building expenses or property expenses to the different department dimensions. So and uh, I would like to allocate 20% to the administration department. So I will enter 20 in share. Next, I will go to manage and I will select dimensions. So here you can now enter a combination of dimensions and dimension values. So like I just said, I would like to use the department dimension and the value administration. Again, I could uh, create a, a second line, a third line. So uh, you can create any combination of dimensions and dimension values that you want. But let's uh, keep it simple in this first example. So the department administration. So this means that 20% of the building expenses should be assigned to the administration department. I will go to a second line and I will use the same GL account. In this case, I will enter 70 because I would like to assign 70% to the production department. So again, I will go to manage dimensions and enter department and then production. There we go. And then the third line, same GL account. So the remaining 10% should be assigned to the sales department. So once more, I will go to the dimensions, select department, and in this case, sales. All right, so this is my first allocation. And now when we are um, purchasing building expenses, like maintenance, uh, repairs, and so on, I can use this allocation 
to allocate 20% to the administration department, 70 to the production department, and 10% to the sales department. So that's also something that we will demonstrate in one of the following units. In the previous demonstration, I've created a fixed allocation to allocate building expenses to the different department dimensions uh, using these percentages, 20% to the administration department, 70 to the production department and 10% to the sales department. Now suppose I would like to use the same percentages not only for building expenses, but also for other expenses like office equipment, uh, electricity expenses, phone expenses, and so on. Now, instead of creating separate allocations for each expense account, you can also create one general allocation with the destination account type inherit from parent. Let me show you this. So I will go to my list of allocations and I will create a new one. So I will call this general expenses. I will stick to the fixed account type. You could also select variable, uh, but uh, in this case, I will stick to fixed. And now I will enter the different shares and percentages. But instead of assigning them to a specific GL account, I will select inherit from parent. So with inherit from parent, you don't need to select a destination account number because the allocation that you enter here will be applied to the GL account that you select on a document line or a journal line. So if I would create, for example, a purchase invoice with office equipment expenses and I'm entering the office equipment uh, GL account on the purchase line and at the same time enter the general expense allocation account on the same purchase line, Business Central will apply these allocation percentages to the GL account of my document line, you see? So in that way, I don't need to create allocation accounts for each separate GL account. All right, so let's um, continue. So I will uh, use 20% for the administration department. So basically I'm doing the same as in my first examples. So I will just enter the percentage then go to dimensions and select departments and then administration. Now I'll go to a second line and I will also use inherit from parents. So in this case, I will enter 70 and I, will, I would like to assign 70% to the production department. So again, I will go to dimensions, select department and then production and then finally I will do the same for the sales department so and the sales department will get 10% so manage dimensions department sales so basically the same allocation key but instead of specifying it for a specific GL account, I've specified it in a more general way by using the inherit from parent. And in one of the following units, I will show you how you can use it on a document line or a journal line. Besides fixed allocations, you can also create variable allocations. And with variable allocations, the allocation percentages are calculated based on variable data. In this example, I will create an allocation for employee expenses. So there we go. I've entered a number and a name. And now in the account type field, I will select variable. Now, by selecting variable, you will see that a number of additional columns appear on the lines section. Uh, so the breakdown account type, the breakdown account number, and so on. But we will start in the same way as with a fixed allocation, and that's by specifying the destination account type and the number. We have the same options, and in this example, I will use a GL account, and more specifically, the salaries GL account. So let me search for salaries. There we go. And now, with the breakdown account type and the breakdown account number, 
I can specify the variable base. So the basis, the variable basis on which the allocation percentage should be calculated. Now, first of all, before doing this, let me also assign a department code because basically what I would like to do is assign salary costs to the different departments based on the number of employees that work on each department. So I will first go to manage and assign dimensions. So the department dimensions and let's start with administration. There we go. And now, like I just said, we can specify the variable basis based on the breakdown account type and the account number. Now, there are three options, as you can see, GL account, bank account and statistical account. Now, typically GL account and bank account are used uh, based on the amount of GL accounts and bank accounts. Uh, so the amounts can, of course, change over time, which means that when an amount changes, the percentage will also change. In this example, however, I would like to use the number of employees, and that's something that you can achieve by using statistical accounts. So with statistical accounts, you can process data apart from the typical financial and bookkeeping data. So let me select statistical, statistical accounts. So in here you can see that in my demo company, there are two accounts, employees and office space. So the first one is used for the number of employees. The second one for uh, the number of square meters, for example, that each department uh, uses in the company buildings. So in this example, I will select employees. So Next, I can specify the calculation periods. Uh, so you can see that there are quite a number of um, yeah, date filters that you can use. So I will stick uh, to balance that date for this example. And then you can specify the breakdown account balance filter. Because for this line, I would like to specify that uh, Business Central should look at the number of employees of the administration department. So by clicking here, I can enter the filter as uh, so department administration. Now, in the beginning, this may look confusing because it seems that I'm doing the same thing by assigning here the department code and the breakdown account balance filter. But in fact, it's uh, totally different uh, because what I'm doing here is specifying that um, the percentage uh, so the percentage that Business Central will calculate automatically should be allocated to the administration department, uh, so the salaries GL account. Uh, but uh, to get uh, the percentage, it should look at the number of employees of the administration department. Uh, so two different things. All right, so I will go to the second line and we will specify the same. So the same GL account, but in this case, I will enter the production department. And I will, of course, then also filter on the production department. So first I will select the statistical account employees. And then here I will enter the production department. There we go. And then the third line is for the sales department. So the same GL account, uh, but in this case, I will enter or select the production, uh, sorry, the sales department. There we go. And also here, statistical account employees and filtered on the sales department. All right, so uh, this is now my variable allocation account. Now to show you that uh, it's indeed variable, let's uh, have a look at uh, the results uh, based on the data that we currently have. So, and that's something that you can do by clicking on manage and then select preview distributions. So in this case, uh, you can see here the number of employees on each department, uh, so administration, production and sales. So when based on the number of employees, the system calculates the percentage. And if we would have uh, an amount to allocate of 1000, uh, you can see here the amount that each department will get. 
So now I will add a number of employees, let's say for the production department. So currently we have 29 employees, so let's add uh, employees as so that also the percentage should change. As so now we have about 34%. Now to show you this, I will go to the statistical journal. So the statistical account journal. So and uh, that's very simple to use. So on a specific posting date, and that's uh, the work date. And I will enter a document number. I would like to post or to register to the employees statistical account. And again, uh, so in this case, uh, employees, we can consider the amount as the number of employees. So let's add, for example, 30 employees so that we also really see the difference in the result. And like I just said, uh, we will add these employees for the production department. Next, I will register the line. So and now if we return to the allocation account and if we click on manage preview distribution, you can now see that uh, for the production department, we have 59 employees. So and based on the higher number of employees, we now have an allocation percentage of 51.30. You see, so uh, that's a good example of a variable allocation account. And so based on variable data, in this case, the number of employees, Business Central will automatically calculate the allocation percentage.